السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہاؤ آر یو موسٹ ریسپیکٹڈ بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ویری یوزفل شارٹ کٹس ان ایڈوبی پریمیئر پرو ٹو اسپیڈ اپ یور ورک فلو سو بفور اسٹارٹنگ دا ویڈیو آئی ول ریکویسٹ یو آل دیٹ پلیز سبسکرائب اور چینل اینڈ ہٹ دا بیل آئی کین کیپ ان ٹچ ود اس اینڈ ان شاء اللہ وی ول برنگ ویری امپورٹنٹ ویڈیوز فار یو ٹو گرو یور اسکلس تھینک یو سو مچ So let's get it started. We are going to edit and keyboard shortcuts. First of all, we will analyze about the window. Uh, the great thing about this window is that uh, it will tell us uh, when you press any key what command it does. For example, uh, I'm pressing control K. Here you can see the note about this key that it telling us K uh, in bracket you can see multiple commands assigned. So for example, when you press only k it will it will do shuttle stop and when you press control k then it will add edit and when you press shift k then it will do play around when we press control alt k then it will go to keyboard shortcut window also when we press control plus shift plus k it will do add edit to all tracks so these are multiple assigned keys with k so and the second thing about this window is that uh, we can customize uh, short keys for example i am typing add edit here is a detail of add edit uh, the, the assigned shortcut is control plus k so i want to change this key i will double click at control k then i will press any other key control u for example and it telling me that uh, the shortcut control u is already in use by another application command so i can use any other shortcut which is not already assigned so if i will press uh, double click uh, in the negative space bar blue box will appear with a small cross symbol at the bottom corner i'm pressing control enter we can apply add edit with control k and also we can do it with our assigned shortcut that is control plus enter so it was all about this window i'm deleting this uh, shortcut it was just for instance so i'm removing this shortcut then i'm pressing okay to continue our video The next thing brothers after the keyboard shortcuts I would like to tell you about triple delete. So let me zoom in my uh, this panel. So when we are doing triple delete we have to lock other tracks uh, after that you will select a specific clip that you want to uh, triple delete. Uh, I'm pressing slide number 23 as you can see I'm uh, zooming in. this is slide number 23 and when i will hit shift delete then the other slide slide 24 25 uh, and so on will be merged uh, with previous slides slide number 22 21 as well so to be very honest this is very sh useful shortcut in adobe premiere pro but please make sure that other tracks should be locked while you are using ripple delete otherwise it will not work For example, I'm unlocking other clips. I unlocked all the tracks. Then I selecting slide number twenty three, and I'm deleting ripple delete. But it is not working because there are multiple tracks, and it will not work on multiple tracks. If you want to delete specific session, so then we can keep our playhead from where we want to delete. and then press i key from the keyboard and then go forward to select the next point and then press o so this is our session that we have selected and then we can press shift delete so it will delete all the session for example the starting point is slide number 22 and the ending point is slide number 27 we are pressing shift delete so it will delete all the selected session So now you can see after slide number 22 there is slide number 27 It's holy Quran I cannot delete it randomly 
I am just showing you examples. Now let's jump to the next shortcut which is cuts. So if we use a razor tool and then it will take a lot of time, it will consume a lot of time. So what should we do? What should we do? We will just uh, keep our playhead where we want to cut then we will just press Control K. So it's very easy to use shortcut rather than a wizard tool. Next shortcut which I want to explain is ripple trim. What is ripple trim? Track number V4 is selected. If I press here Q, it will trim to the last cut. I'm doing undo and if I will press W, it will delay till to the first forward cut. Now let's jump to the next shortcut which is nudge clips. To nudge any layer, we can select uh, a layer, then we can hold alt, then we can press up arrow to nudge to the top and then down arrow for bottom. If you want to nudge backwards selected layer or selected clip, then we will hold alt plus shift with left arrow, then we can move backwards our selected layer, same as the right side. Brothers, let's jump to the next point. If you want to zoom in, you can just press plus key from the keyboard. And for zoom out, minus key from the keyboard. As it is, if you want to see all the clips in timeline panel, let me zoom in my timeline panel. Now, if you want to see all the clips in timeline panel, you can press just backslash underneath the backspace key, hit the backslash, then you will see all the clips in timeline panel. The next thing is tilt key. Tilt key you will see underneath the escape key, uh, as you can see on my screen. Uh, this is tilt key and tilt key works where your mouse pointer is. My mouse pointer is on program monitor. You can hit tilt key to zoom in your program monitor to see your program monitor in full screen. So as it is to undo this command, you can again press tilt key. If you want to maximize timeline panel, so keep your mouse cursor at timeline panel, then press tilt key. That's it. And if you want to maximize project panel, then move your cursor to the project panel and then again press tilt key. As you can see, it's working. And another thing, if you want to stretch your program monitor into full screen, you can just press control tilt and the program monitor will switch to full screen mode. To undo this command, we can again press control tilt key. That's it. Finally, brothers, I am winding up this tutorial and if you like this video, please share it with others. Our target is to help you to grow your profession. Uh, thank you so much all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.